everybody. This is Dr. Jake Rourke from STEM Education Works. And today we're going to be diving into some really cool kits that are all based around renewable energy from Horizon Educational. So what we have here is a vertical axis wind turbine and a horizontal axis wind turbine. And I'll show you how these little guys work. And what's really cool about these little kits is that the blade configurations are totally customizable. And this allows your students to kind of jump in to that engineering design process mindset and determine what type of blade configurations are going to give them the highest voltage output. So uh, let's get started first off with our little vertical axis wind turbine here. Of course, it's called that because the axis upon which it spins is vertically oriented, whereas this guy here, it's horizontally oriented. And so the, what you can do with the particular setup here is you have multiple blades that come with the kit. And what's really cool about that is that you can set it up to have two blades, three blades, or four blades. And from there, your students can determine by, uh, you could either go outside and actually use natural wind outside, or if you wanted to do it inside in your classroom, you could set up like a, a fan of some kind and uh, set that up and then see how much energy you're generating from the rotation of this wind turbine. Uh, what's really cool about that is that it also gets your students to think about variables that are involved when they're performing these sorts of experiments. So for instance, it matters that the students put this little device here the same distance away from the fan each time. So that's a good example of uh, your students considering what variables are important to their experiment. We have this guy right here, the horizontal axis wind turbine. With this horizontal axis wind turbine, just like the vertical axis wind turbine, your students can uh, customize the blade configuration of this thing to see which blade configuration is gonna give them the highest power output. With this particular model, uh, you have these type B blades here, which have a, just a slight curvature to them. And then you also have this type A blade, which is very flat like an oar. And you also have this type C blade, which is, has a very exaggerated curvature to it. Uh, additionally, your students can also uh, customize the pitch of these blades, because there's these little notches that are built into it here that allow them to uh, introduce an even further number of variables into their experimentation. And so again, what you can do is have your students choose the configuration that they want and then have them either take this outside and use the natural wind outside, or if you wanna do it in the classroom, you can use something like a box fan or a oscillating fan locked into place and have your students test how much energy they're getting out of each configuration. So in, in order to determine the amount of output that's uh, coming out of these guys, your students can hook this little device up. This is a little LED device. And we can take our red positive wire and plug it into this port and take our black negative wire and plug it into this port. And as you can see, when we do spin these fan blades here, our little LED lights up for us, showing us that we are generating a voltage. Now, we have an even more a uh, sophisticated way of measuring the power you're producing with these windmills uh, with this Horizon Energy Monitor. And this is essentially acting as a multimeter. It's gonna allow your students to see how much voltage they're generating, how much current and wattage they're generating. So we can go ahead and plug this guy in just like we did before. And then as we can see, as our fan blades are spinning, we can see the voltage output uh, that we're producing. What's really cool about this device is that you can also plug that into a computer and collect your data and graph it on a 2D graph. So this is really putting your students in the driver's seat when it comes to the engineering design process, making them think about the variables that are involved in experimentation and making them understand how the scientific method and the engineering design process work to solve problems in the world. So if you're interested in implementing kits like these in your own classroom, go ahead and visit us at stemeducationworks.com.